Welcome back to prison in Lord of the Rings Online in the last episode. We released all the prisoners here because this stupid warden summoned us. But when we spoke with her, she had absolutely nothing to say. So we released all the prisoners in revenge. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to continue our adventure in Bree Town. And we're going to continue to do some quests. So let's get right to this. As soon as the loading screen is done, of course. My god. Keep saying this every ep every episode, but I really need a solid state drive. Makes these loading screens negligible. There we go, finally. So now we need to head down to the auction house to continue the tour of Bree, and I am floating in midair. Would you look at that? And it's gonna be to the south. Maybe this is the last stop for the tour? Who knows? I think we're getting close, though. Hello there! This is the Bree Auction Hall. Here you can trade materials with other craftsmen and adventurers at a small cost, which helps support Bree Town. You can search through our ledgers to see if items that people are currently offering. If you choose to list an item with us, we will hold it for you for an agreed-upon amount of time, and should the item sell, we will take a portion of those proceeds to pay for our services. The rest will be sent to you through the post. If the item fails to find a trade, we will return the item to you and keep your deposits. The ins and outs of the auctions can be difficult to understand. The mayor will furnish you with a note, explaining this when you are done with the tour. You should visit Tad Leafcutter next. You will find him at the end of the lane to the west. Okay. Let's go talk to Tad. Let me see. Oh, I guess he's gonna be all the way down here. Okay. Look at that, there's a ghost running around here. Lost Shade. What is that guy doing? Greetings. As a representative of the Men of Bree, I welcome, to welcome you to our township. Beyond the doors behind me, you will find the Bree Hunting Lodge. When you have earned enough respect among the Men of Bree, you can find your way within the halls to purchase items from the hunters. You should make your way back to Graham Thunderlag at Town Hall, Head east along the road until you reach the east gate and then turn north west and follow the road to town hall. So this is the reputation house for Breland. As he mentioned, and I think we already have a quest here. What do you need? Thomas Distlewood sent you. Yes, yes, I will make sure he receives his coin. I have something much more important to discuss with you though. Okay, bear well, treasure introduction. Greetings, Kippen. I have been very interested in the doings here at the Hunting Lodge. It seems the only place here in Bree where people would even think about heading up is the Old Barrels Down. Well, there I go talking before explaining. You see, I am quite interested in the place. The Barrel Downs, that is. Ancient cities, old kings, and treasure beyond imagining. My dad, Newbold, has told me such wonderful stories. It seems somehow he got quite a few pieces of old histories out of the downs. Though he never would tell me how. Okay. Stay a moment. So these are higher level quests. These are small group quests for level 20. But that's okay. I'll pick them up for now and do them when I'm able. In the bowels of Hod Ir Irkith. Irkith? Irkith. We'll go with that. Hod Irkith. Gwenthram, Goethem, and Hod Nogben. There is a rare breed of grave moss that has powerful medicinal properties. If you travel within those hallowed halls and are able to recover this moss, could you bring me back a few samples? Hod Earkith, Gwentham, Goethem, and Hod Nogben lie in the Southern Barrow Downs. Quit giving me difficult names to pronounce. 
Would you do something Oh, for me? no, not them again. In the dark recess of those barrows in the Barrow Downs, there are many fell creatures that haunt the barrow, but three in particular which you should be wary of. The three creatures are Brishil, the Bargust, the Fell Spirit, Fagfire, and Fergandir, the Gauntman. If you were to travel with a group of friends to Hod Irkith, Gwantham, and Guathem, and Hod Nogbin, and dispatch of any of these creatures, the Hunters of Bree would be in your debt. Right, now let's talk to this guy. Bunch of quests here. Why to take a moment of your time? Hello there, my name is Broderick Willowmead, and it is a pleasure to meet you. It is said that scattered among the ruins of the Barrows Downs, there are a series of pillars that are covered with ancient text. While the journey may be dangerous, I think the information found on these pillars would assist us greatly. Could you take charcoal and paper and make rubbings of the text for me? Hod Methernil, the Barrow of Ringdor, and the Barrow of Teradan, and Hod Teodoth lie scattered across the northern Barrow Downs. Could I speak with you a moment? Deep within the depths of Hod Methernil, the Barrow of Ringdor, the Barrow of Teradan, Hotham, and Hod Tin Thod, in the Barrow Downs, there are said to be foul creatures that stalk the halls. My hope is that if you choose to journey into the area, you might be able to recover shards of some of the statues and carvings on the creatures below. Would you be willing to travel into these barrels and attempt to recover these relics for me, Kippen? The tombs are scattered wide across the northern Barrow Downs. Can I speak with you a moment? Deep within Hod Methernil, the Barrow of Ringdor, and the Barrow of Teradan, there are said to be three creatures that haunt its depths. The first creature is a horrible spider named Gwigon. The second is a dark water by the name of Umnen. Lastly, the Kurgrim named Marrow. If you are able to defeat one of these creatures, return to me, and I will spread word of your valor to all the peoples of Bree Town. Hod Methernil, the Barrow of Ringdor, and the Barrow of Teradan are scattered across the northern Barrow Downs. So I guess I don't have to kill all three of them, I just have to pick one, I guess. Okay, we're done with that. So let's return to Town Hall. And talk to the mayor. Looks like we finished the tour of Bree here. Finally. The frame rate's a little low. 40, 50, alright, we're doing okay. It felt a little lower than that. Look at this guy. Look at that dude's hat. What a baller. Lollipops. Alright, Mr. Mayor. Greetings. Well then, you have been to every corner of Bree and should be able to find your way around more easily now. With all that with all the claims that ghosts near the South Gate, brigands running folks out of Beggar's Alley, and the flow of refugees from south, Bree is bustling, and not in all good ways. The Southerners are a bit of trouble that has me most concerned. More so than ghost stories from the South Gate. These stories have been about for years. Dude, I saw the ghost with my own eyes. I hope that you have arrived here as a boon of hope, Kippen. Again, I welcome you to our fair town. Might I take a moment of your time? As I mentioned before, brigands have become a true threat to the safety of Breland. My chief watcher has moved to the outskirts of town, just outside the West Gate and north along the Greenway to a small stone cottage in an attempt to thwart the brigands' plans. Would you be willing to visit him and see if he has made any progress against the threat that these southerners pose to our city? It seems to me that every day more and more of these brigands find their way into Bree, and while some are simple refugees, I fear a growing number mean this town ill. Talk to Chief Watcher Grimbriar as soon as you may. Okay. No, I can't jump that. Alright, so let me take a quick look at my quests here. Breland. Let me get rid of some of these higher level ones for now. Okay, I guess like everything here is going to be in the Barrow Downs for the most part. Hmm. 
Reputation, Bureau of Treasures. We sent this epic one. And then, worse for wear, I still need to travel to Comb to turn in those horseshoes. So maybe I can do that. However, while I'm here in the south gate, let me activate this pony. Because I don't think I ever did. It's obviously going to be important. That way I can swift travel everywhere. How can I be of service? Okay. Let me actually go to comb real quick. Turn in those horseshoes and then I'll come back here. What the hell is that? It's like a giant present. Let me see if I can inspect them. Nah, he's anonymous. Most players are anonymous and you can't inspect them. Alright, so... I think we're gonna head to Buckland pretty soon after we're done here. Again, Buckland is by the Shire near the Brandywine Bridge, and there's gonna be a bunch of quests over there. And those are actually pretty fun quests if I remember correctly, so I'm excited about that. It looks like this guy has a quest for me, so I'm actually gonna dismount right here. Could I take a moment of your time? Into Bree, you've been a big help to me, Kippen. Something tells me that you could be a great help to many. If you're looking for to further your charitable nature, you may speak with the second watcher, Heathstraw, in Bree Town. Heathstraw is very much known of the problems facing Bree. What with the refugees coming in from the south and all, the whispers of the rising dark, I think he's got a fair share of details to keep track of, poor fellow. You can find him through the Staddle Gate of Bree, standing near the Boar Fountain in Market Square. Okay. I've talked to this guy so many times, I don't know how I missed that quest earlier. It's a little bit odd to me. That's okay. What matters is that we have the quest now. Ah, dang it, I forgot to set my timer so I know how long I've been recording for. I'm just gonna have to wing this one. I'm going for 30 minutes. Let's see how close I get. Alright, I have your horseshoe, sir. Friend. Thank you for taking the time to head into Bree Town and seeing this request through. The horse will appreciate the set of shoes. The stable master is the only one here trained in replacing sh shoes, so I'll give these to him right away. Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? The stable master has put new horseshoes on the horse, but we need to we need the stall back to house Combs travel mounts. It's time to take the new horse to Hangister Farm in the horse field debris. Last time Aogar was there, was here, he left behind an old saddle, and I've been meaning to return it. This seemed like a good opportunity for taking care of two tasks at once. So I tried to fit the saddle on this horse, but he almost killed me in the process. It appears this horse is not ready to be ridden. Could you take the saddle to Elgar at the horse farm and let him know the horse will be heading there soon? Will do. Eventually. Definitely not right now. So I'm going to head back into Bree, turn in some other quests. And we'll see where the road takes us from there. So it's family treasures. It was that shady guy that was asking me to recover treasures. But I think he wants to keep them all for himself instead of distributing them back to the citizens. What do you need? Ah, so you found them. That was a kind deed. Now let's just hope that I can find the poor people from whom these treasure things were stolen. Stay and hear me out. There's a pair of fine gentlemen, Mr. Larkspur and Mr. Hawkling, what have taken up residence at Adso Haybank's camp along the Great East Road north of the Old Forest. Have you guys noticed that they use the word what? Very weird in this game. Like, every quest, it just seems out of place. Like, listen to the sentence. sentence. Pair of fine gentlemen, Mr. Larkspur and Mr. Hawkling, what have taken up residence? That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, yes sir, fine gentlemen indeed. Hunters of game, great and small. 
Last time they were through here, Mr. Hawkling asked me to procure them a bit of pipeweed. If you'd be so kind, deliver this cask to them with all due haste. I'm sure Mr. Hawkling will tip you if you're quick about it. Okay, there's no timer on this quest, so no need to worry about that. Even though he implied it might be timed. And there is the boar statue, if you remember from the history of Bree, boars were very important. This is the epic battle guy, so that's not who I want. I want this guy right here. Second watcher. What can I do for you? Lolo? Used to come here often, he did. Good stout little fellow. Good uh, barker and good seller he is. Strange for a hobbit, it's true. But then again, they say that most hobbits living around here is queer. His information is correct, though. Bree's seen its share of new blood recently, and not all have been your quality. If you need work, I am certain that I can find you something. Alright. So I kind of already did his quests. Um, I guess let's go to Adso's camp. He's actually on the way to Buckland, so we'll pass him along the way. But let me take a look here. Yeah, I can go this way, and then head north, and then west from there. It's going to be a lot of quests in Adso's camp as well. If I remember, it's a nice little hub of quests. And it looks like I'm pretty close to getting to level uh, 18. I feel like I've caught up to the content now. Everything is more along my level. And in fact, I have a ton of those quests that are above my level. These level 20s, 22. Those will be fun. Alright, so let me kind of show you. This is going to be Adso's camp right here. It's going to be a nice little quest hub area. And then right here is Buckland. There's going to be a ton of quests here. Some of them are going to have me going into the Old Forest, which is a pretty cool area as well. So, get excited about that. And that's where we're headed. And I'm sure that's going to take up a few episodes. And then finally we have to visit Northern Bree. Over here there are going to be some quests. And then towards the east, heading into Lonelands. We can see Adso's camp here in the distance. And Adso himself is actually a hobbit, so that's quite cool. Let me talk to the stable master so I can quickly get here in the future. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Tell me what you need or move along. So that ill-favored fellow Stout Thrust finally came through with this pipeweed. Looks like I love you for that wager, Larkspur. Okay, where's Adso? I thought he was like around here somewhere. Where is he? I don't know where he is. I remember there being like a ton of quests here. I thought for sure there was like a ton of quests. I don't know, we'll come back here. We'll come back. Let's continue along to Buckland, though. And we'll see what we can find. In fact, this is taking me to the prologue, to asking me to speak with Langland. If you remember, that's what Aragorn asked me to do. So that's what we're gonna do. So he's on a camp near Buckland. We're basically trying to find out if there's any other signs of the Nazgul here in Bree. Or also coming from the Shire. We'll take a look. We're gonna investigate this. It 
this guy's camp is kind of hidden out a little bit. He's a bit of a hermit, I guess. Like most rangers, they kind of stay by themselves and try to be unseen. Okay, and here is Langland's camp. Right by these trees here. Let's see what he has to say. He's just lounging. Look at him. Either he's lounging or he's really hurt. What can I do for you? Aragorn has sent aid. Nazgul, four more. We're in Buckland. They rode swiftly to the east upon black steeds. I was foolish enough to stand in their way, and they ran me down. I will heal in time, but the riders have left a threat in their wake. That must be dealt with. I must ask for your help. Stay a moment. In the Black Riders' wake, Craybane have taken roost. They are not the common strain of Dunland, but a but a breed I have not seen before. Likely those foul creatures keep watch on Buckland and the Shire, or at the very least me, since they have taken to staring at me in the nights. While the Corbain may see nothing of interest, the fact that the enemy has eyes here is dangerous. If we were to blind these eyes, the enemy would not be as sure in directing its efforts. If you would dispose of the Corbain that roost to the southwest, just beyond my camp. Even killing one Corbain, Craben, will go a long way towards blinding the enemy. Okay. So let's see if we can kill some of these. remember some of these were spying on uh, the fellowship as they try to climb over the mountain in the fellowship of the ring right it's basically a spies of saruman i don't know why i attacked that one it kind of lagged there a little bit Alright, so I killed all the ones that I need. Let's go back to Langland. What can I do for you? Good, you have slain those foul birds. The enemy will not be nearly as sure of their efforts now. However, I still have need of your aid. I must ask for you to do something in Buckland as it was their horn call that alerted me to the presence of the Nazgul. Might I take a moment of your time? You say that Underhill is with Aragorn? I know of no Underhills. I was sent to watch over a hobbit named Baggins. I must assume that that is whom Aragorn spoke of. That he is safe is welcome news, for my fears are somewhat allayed. It was late in the night when I heard the horn call of Buckland. Running to the road, I saw the Nazgul leaving Buckland at a gallop. I tried to stop them, but they ran me down. I feared that they had already found Baggins. The four riders passed eastward towards Bree, but we may discover what they learned, if anything, at Baggins' home in Crick Hollow. It is a cottage surrounded by a high hedge, almost directly southeast of the Buckland Gate. If you learn anything there, return to me. What news you can bring me may help determine the movement of the Nazgul. Cool. So kind of tying this into the Lord of the Rings story, these four Nazgul that he saw are probably the four Nazgul that entered Bree Town and kind of try to kill the hobbits in the Prancing Pony in the middle of the night. Alright, so I think we're finally ready to enter Buckland. There's the Brandywine Bridge leading to the Shire. And here is Buckland gonna be a ton of quests here let me talk with her how do you do oh hello kippen it's good to see you isn't it a relief to be back home in the shire it sure is mr butterbur sent you he is such a pleasant fellow always kind to travelers and reasonably honest and diligent well at least he's honest there have been strange happenings here in buckland as of late if you have need for work or adventure i'm certain that you'll find some here I speak with you a moment? Are you looking for work? Well, it's not much, but maybe you can do me a favor. 
I inquired about notes on the old forest from Farmer Maggot, and I have still not received them. Perhaps you would be willing to go to his farm and ask him where they may be? Excuse me. You can find Maggot's farm, Bamferlung, in the Marish. That's the green hill country in the Shire across the Brandywine River. Cross the Brandywine Bridge, then turn south on the river road. His farm won't be far away. The Buckleberry Ferry will be faster, but the Bounders want no one using it for the moment. Farmer Maggot doesn't like trespassers, but he's good enough sort when you get to know him. Okay, so we've already been to his farm if you watched my Deeds of the Shire video. Let's get some more quests here. Would you do something for me? My employer, Adso Haybanks Inn, is to be a blend of breed culture and hobbit sensibility. He asked me to employ folks to acquire items that will display the nature surrounding Bree and to bring a lodge feel to the inn. I am prepared to pay those willing to do some hunting for suitable objects. North and east of town, between the Brandy Hills and the borders of the Old Forest, you will find bears, boars, and wolves. Atso has asked me to obtain a bundle of coarse bear furs, pristine boar heads, and pristine bear corpses and wolf corpses suitable for stuffing. If you return these to me, I will pay you well. Stay and have some tea. 20 mushrooms, dude? Hello. I see that you are a person who knows your way around the wilder parts of the world. So, and so the offer I have for you will surely make your heart leap. I represent Atso Haybank, an enterprising fellow from Buckland with a grand vision, a vision of building an inn along the Great East Road. He dispatched myself and these men beside me in search of willing folk to assist him with his dream. I seek mushrooms found along the banks of the Brandywine River. To the north, mushrooms fill and satisfy the belly with a bit of Shire hospitality. Be wary if you go though, for I have heard tell of slimy slugs and nasty vermin in the area. Would you collect some mushrooms for me? Hello friend, could you help me with something? At So Haybank, my employer, aims to have fare to serve men as well as hobbits. Trimerick has people looking for mushrooms to serve Hobbit Fair, the envy of the Four Farthings. The fare for men comes from the bountiful boars and bears prowling the Bree Fields. You should find these boars and bears north and east of the gates of Buckland, between Brandy Hills and the borders of the Old Forest. Gather some meat and return to me. Okay, so we passed this hotel or inn that he's trying to build um, further east that way, if you remember. So let me actually go to Farmer Maggot's farm, talk to him, and then we'll kind of do some of the other quests. So there's Bam from Bam for Long right there. So it's actually quite a little ride, but we'll get there. It's kind of weird being back in the Shire. We haven't been here since season one. Nice knowing we've done everything in here, though. There are a few quests I couldn't do, but I'll definitely be coming back to those once I can do them. Right, so Farmer Maggot's crop here in his farm. Again, another important landmark for the Lord of the Rings story. If you remember, Merry and Pippin were kind of going through his crop. I've no chuck with strangers. What now? More blasted stranger? Get off my O. Oh. Salandine, Brandybug sent you. Well then, I should at least speak fair to you. She sent you to ask about a note. I sent those a while back with my son Rollo, his friend Dodrick, and Wilmac Brandybuck, one of my farmhands. My son wrote those notes because so few other hobbits around here know the forest at all. He probably stopped off at the inn in Newbury, just inside the Haygate of Buckland. Likely all three of them are busy carousing rather than doing their duties. If you look for them there, I am certain you can coax the notes from them. Okay, so it looks like they went off drinking instead of doing their job. Foolish hobbits. So I have no idea how long I've been recording for, but it feels like it's been a while already. So I'm going to call it an episode. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like on this video. And I'll see you back in Brandy, uh, back past the Brandywine Bridge in the next episode. So see you then.